I am planning board member Bob Creech, and I am presenting Article 37. At the request of the planning staff, the planning board proposes Article 37 to amend the zoning bylaw in order to extend the action deadline for major site plan review. This amendment extends the deadline for the planning board site plan review approval. Presently, a site plan review application and written decision of the planning board must be issued within 60 days of submission. Previously, site plan review was intended to be for smaller projects that have already gone through a review process, which included public involvement. With recent zoning changes and zoning changes proposed at this annual town meeting, major site plan review is now the only planning board and the only public opportunity to review large de new development projects. The purpose of this article is to extend the final action deadline for major site plan review applications. The proposed extended time frame is what is realistically needed in order to review large new construction projects through the public hearing process. This deadline extension request only applies to large new development projects, smaller changes to existing buildings such as additions and renovations for the same use are still addressed with a 60 day action deadline. The longer time frame is needed to allow for adequate review and for an opportunity for the public review. The zoning amendment gives the planning board, the applicants, and the public, including neighbors and abutters, an opportunity to adequately review the project. It also gives the applicant time to respond to any issues and requests raised during the public hearing. If the planning board were to fail to meet the required deadline, it would result in an automatic approval of the pro project and with no formal approval. The zoning amendment sets a more realistic expectation for applicants and all parties involved. The exact time needed to complete a major site plan review depends upon the specific project, the complexity of the project, and board staff workload timing. Some projects can be completed in two public hearings, but some may need three or four public hearings. Projects, projects often change substantially from submission to completion. It takes time, especially elapsed time, to alter plans and for review by the board. The planning board can only meet as a group at public meetings and hearing public comments is required. All votes of the board are public and no project is officially completed until a written decision is submitted to the town clerk. Projects may be completed in less time, but allowing appropriate time for applicants, board members, staff, and the public to fully review new documents and new, new developments is important in order to result in the best project results. Thank you, and now we'll take questions. <laughs> 